there's been a steady stream of events that are annually held at the hotels uh, announcing that they're going to cancel. They're going to find another location. And they don't want to be associated with the hotel if they're, if they're implementing Sharia law. They associate it with the Sultanate of Brunei. But these are, it's a difficult decision for people here, I think, because these are two of the most beloved hotels in the Los Angeles area. And how are hotel owners in the Los Angeles area reacting to this? Well, the, they come under the Dorchester collection. It's both the Bel Air Hotel and the Beverly Hills Hotel. And they're both connected to the government of Brunei. But the CEO, he has said, you know, this is misguided. You really shouldn't be protesting. You shouldn't be boycotting because that's only going to hurt the local communities. It's only going to hurt the workers. And these are part of our community here in Los Angeles. And they're saying it's completely misguided and that a boycott, it's, it's not really going to hurt the Sultanate of, of Brunei. So why are the protesters so upset about the imposition of these strict new criminal Sharia laws in Brunei? Well, this is Hollywood, and this is, you know, a lot of people dislike Hollywood for saying it has maybe two liberal views. But, you know, there, there's Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, the Hollywood entertainment industry. This is a hotbed of liberal rights. People fight for civil rights, gay marriage, uh, the rights of women. And it's that there's been a, the protests have been the feminist majority. Jay Leno, one of our popular talk show hosts here, well, he's just retired, but uh, his wife runs a women's rights group. They were out there on the street protesting. And they're saying, you know, we have to stand up for what we believe in. We believe in women's rights. We believe in, in gay rights. And this, we don't want to give our money to this business.